Hey guys, my name is Moepia. Recently, I started calling myself Stat, but it's my real name. <coughs> A rough way to start this video. So, I'm here to talk about giving up. I don't think I'm the best person to talk about giving up, but I'll give it a try because recently it's been trying me. Uh, it's almost three years since I started my YouTube channel to be precise, like let's say two years, six months since I started my YouTube channel. And by this time, if you ask me when I'm starting my YouTube channel, I'll tell you two years in, I'll be at 100k. Okay, 100k is even so high. I'll be like at 50k road to 100k and all that that's what i thought but two years in yes i've achieved my 1k goal which was amazing to achieve thank you so much guys thank you i appreciate that but am i yet monetized on youtube no i'm not yet monetized on youtube but i'm still to get my watch hours which you get by posting more videos or more people watching your videos so yeah I thought by two years in, I'll be earning from YouTube. By three years in, I'll be making a living out of YouTube and all that, like that. That's what I thought when I started my YouTube. One year passed, two years passed, and all I was wishing for is just to get monetized on YouTube by the time the third year passes. So, yeah, I hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. I was so grateful for that. I'm also so grateful for that. And then I was like, no, I need to post more videos more consistently. Not that I have my space, not that I can record any day I want. Not, okay, I'm going to work, so it's affecting the recording. But not that I have my space, I can record anytime, any place, and upload my videos. So the consistency in me kicked out the procrastination in me, and a girl went all out. And for the month of June, I planned to post minimum of five. You should do like four per month, which is one per week, but I said I'll do five seven videos last month the month of june and we were so excited we even planned so we posted our first video we had like three videos in line so that was the main mom four and then i was to post one sit down that would make it five and look for two filler videos so yeah i said the consistency in me and the discipline in me kicked out the procrastination in me <laughs> Tell me why the universe said, nah, girl, we need, we need to check on your discipline a bit. We need, we need to install it deeper. <laughs> so if you're wondering where I went, uh, my phone crashed one day, one random day, my phone just crashed. Okay, not random day. It was just a weird day. I, it was on the 15th of June. Okay, I'm not sure. So I just woke up that day. It was a crazy day. I won't go into details about the day, but yeah, I was moody. I was crying. I cried so much. And my phone just, I dropped my phone because I have a tendency of placing my phone a distance from where I charge it. So, like, the cable is hanging in between my charging place and my bed. <laughs> so, tell me why I just kicked the phone, flowing away across my room and i was like nah this phone is okay because yeah it's not the first time me dropping my phone it's actually like i've dropped it so that day the screen cracked a bit i ignored it and then it started glitching and i was like yep there's an issue uh but i had already edited one video it was ready so at this point i had three vlogs and uploaded but one was edited ready one was half edited and the other one, I just add the raw footage. So, yeah, I just ignored the fact that my phone crashed and started deleting and it went back to normal. So when I got into the car, I started editing. I always edit on my way to work because it makes it easier. Because if I say I'll create a day and edit, I'll never do that. So I got into the matter to start editing and because I always shoot on my phone and I always say a million plus screenshots, my phone is always full. So when I need to export one video, I'll also need to delete previous videos I've edited. So I wanted to delete the previous clip I edited and this story is getting too long. <laughs> I said, let me delete one clip. Tell me why my phone goes out, uh, on and format everything. So yeah, that's my story. That's where I've been. I lost all the footage that day because I had not backed it up. because. 
my google backup is full i keep telling myself i'll delete all the useless screenshots to create space but i never do uh so that i lost three footage three vlogs footages like it was so crazy <laughs> It was so crazy. I felt like cry. okay. I cried. I won't lie. I won't lie. I cried that day. Okay, I always cry when I feel low. So I cried that day, and uh, I decided to give YouTube a break. Okay, I was so demoralized because two videos were one I'd gone to a rough forest, and it was so much fun. I'm going back there. It was so much fun and the other one I had like three hours of cleaning footage and the other one was a story time. No, the other one had gone shopping. I had gone thrifting and then I was to do the, the sit down on. So I felt so down because you can't repeat the thrifting video, you can't repeat the cleaning video and you can't repeat the Pandora video. Like if they were all sit down videos, I could just sit down and we do them but now i lost everything and i was like what when i decided to be consistent and post every week of this month and reach my watch hours my phone decides to crash and my footage decides to disappear yeah so that's where i've been i felt so low but i'm back I'll try and get these 4,000 watch hours before this year ends because that's my goal. I need to be monetized on YouTube before this year ends. And we keep pushing because every time you fall, you just get up and continue. Good thing my phone did not fall that much because it was just the screen and then I went and got it fixed. Good thing I was able to afford to do that. So. But there's always a plus in life. The fact that my screen could crash today and I could fix it after three days or four days. It was amazing because there was a time if my screen crashed, I could just sit and forget about a phone and wait for almost three weeks. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's I me. That's where I've lost. That's where I've disappeared. And yeah, I almost gave up and after that after that i also gave up on youtube because i also gave up on tiktok because i started overthinking about all the things that up okay i started thinking about uh, imposter syndrome got to me and i almost gave up on tiktok I, I want to get back to it because every time i keep telling myself my life is boring nobody will watch it but i have to remind myself somebody will watch it and somebody will get motivated and i need to improve my content and make it better and make it better like five times so we back the imposter syndrome we have to kick it away the overthinking we have to kick it away and we have to just create more content from now i'll promise myself to post every week no matter what no matter when and just get on with my life because i have a beautiful life i love documenting it I started documenting it for me and I'll forever do that. See you in my next video.